And a lot of us today have this idea that heaven is a bit of a fluffy sort of place. Like it doesn't feel very literal, very tangible. But what the Bible is telling us here is that, is that, that what we see on this earth, this is the copy. This is not the original version. This is not the, 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 the most tangible, the most physical version that we're going to experience one day. And Jesus has gone to prepare a place for us. Jesus has gone into the, the new temple. Jesus has gone into the, the original temple. And, 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 and he's brought a sacrifice that has redeemed us and set us free. And he's gone into the physical place. Everything about the first covenant, covenant is a copy of the second, uh, of, of, of the real thing. And, and this is why it's so important that we don't just skip all of the Old Testament and go, oh, well, that doesn't apply now to us. Oh, well, maybe so, but, but, but it's based on a future reality. It's linked to, it's a shadow, it's, it's a replica of, of the real thing. Uh, maybe the best way to describe it is with music. You know, if you have an album of like your favorite artist, and uh, you, you listen to the album, and it is, it's amazing, you know, back in the day, CDs, uh, but uh, cassettes, but now, of course, we've got Spotify, we just check it on, we've got the whole album, we can listen to it, we listen to all the back catalog, and it's amazing, but, 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 but no matter how good an album is, it is always a copy. It's always one moment in time that has been captured and recorded and painstakingly created with so much hard work. I mean, gosh, that goes into the production of, of an album. But it, it's been, been presented to us as a replica of the real thing, capturing one moment. And we all know how great albums are. So, you know, the first covenant was pretty good, actually. But, but, but there's something even better. If, if, you, if, you've, if you've ever gone to see, like, somebody live who you've been looking forward to seeing live, like, a musical artist or a band. I remember some of the first bands uh, I, I saw, and uh, you know, one of the first bands I saw was the, the band Hives. And uh, I don't know if they still do making any music, but I didn't know their music at all. But it was the most energetic, fun, um, amazing experience that opened my eyes to the possibilities of what live music can be, because because it's not the same. And then I went and listened to the album, and I was like, oh, it's cool. It's a cool album, but but it was it was nothing compared to the memory of what it was like to be in the room. And so Jesus has made this new covenant. Jesus has got this new place that he's actually given us access to that we're going to get to go to. This is our eternal inheritance. 